Okay, this is just a review. We've done this before. I just gonna, I'm just i gonna take um, just a few of these so that it refreshes your memory here. So all these are inequalities. So I can look at that and know that I'm just gonna solve for x. So I distribute and I get distribute negative eight x. Negative eight times negative four is positive 32. Finish it out, minus three is less than or equal to five. I combine like terms and I get negative eight x plus 29 is less than or equal to five. To get x by itself, I subtract 29 on both sides and I get negative eight x is less than or equal to negative 24. When I divide both sides by negative, the light bulb goes off inside my head that I switch that sign. So I get x is greater than or equal to positive three. So it's positive three, so I bubble in positive three and I shade to the right. So this is just a multi-step um, inequality, so it's just one solution. So I had, well, many solutions, any solution greater than three, but one inequality statement. And so my interval notation is gonna be blocked off at three and it goes to infinity with a parenthesis around it, okay? All right, let's jump down to number five. It already is telling me that it's an or statement, so I'm gonna solve two separate ones. So I'm gonna add two to both sides and I get X is less than negative nine. When I divide both sides by negative three, that light bulb goes off inside my head that I switch, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive six. It's already written from least to greatest, and I can look that my arrows go apart from each other, so I know it's an or statement. So I'm gonna box in my inequality piece, and now I'm gonna graph it. So it's open circle on negative nine, shade to the left. It's closed circle on positive six, shade to the right. Interval notation is negative infinity to negative nine with a parenthesis, or I'm gonna write or, blocked off on six to infinity, okay? All right, let's take a look at number seven. So I have to get rid of my parenthesis, my fraction here, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative two. Remember when I multiply both sides by a negative, I must switch that sign, so Negative twos cancel out, and a negative eight times a negative two is positive 16. I add five to both sides, and I get three x is greater than 21. When I divide both sides by three, I get x is greater than seven. And then I'm gonna solve for this x over here. So I subtract 11 on both sides. I'm left with negative four x is greater than eight. When I divide both sides by negative four, that sign is gonna switch to x is less than negative two. These are not written in the correct order. So I have X is less than negative two and X is greater than seven. You can see that they're gonna go apart from each other. So I know it's an or statement. So I've written that inequality statement correctly. Now when I graph it, I open circle on negative two, shade to the left. I open circle on positive seven and I shade to the right and I write an interval notation, negative infinity to negative two with a parenthesis, don't forget the word or, seven with a parenthesis to infinity with a parenthesis, okay? All right, let's do some on the other side. And let's just go down here to 13 and um, 14. So it's absolute value, so I'm gonna add nine to isolate. And I get, oh, greater than 71. No, 72, sorry. So now that it's isolated, I can branch and I'm gonna keep neg uh, 9x is greater than 72. And now I'm gonna use the KISS method, keep that, switch and switch. And when I divide both sides by nine, I get x is greater than eight. I divide both sides by nine and I get x is less than negative eight. Not written in the correct order, so I'm gonna rewrite and I get x is less than negative eight. X is greater than eight. I can look at my inequality statements and know that my arrows are going apart from each other, so I know it's an or statement. So when I graph, open circle on negative eight, shade to the left, open circle on positive eight, shade to the right, and interval notation is negative infinity to negative eight, parenthesis, or eight with a parenthesis to infinity with a parenthesis, okay? All right, the last one we're gonna do together is number 15. So I'm gonna add eight to both sides because I need to isolate the absolute value. So I get three, absolute value of x plus four is greater than or equal to nine. And now I divide both sides by three and I get 
x plus four is greater than or equal to three. Now that my absolute value is by itself, I can branch and I get x plus four is greater than or equal to three. Now I'm gonna use a kiss method, keep, switch, switch, and subtract four, and I get x is greater than or equal to negative one, subtract four, and I get x is less than or equal to negative seven. Okay, so negative seven is less than negative one, so I'm gonna rewrite it, and I get x is less than or equal to negative seven, x is greater than or negative one, so I notice my arrows are going apart from each other, so I know it's an or statement, and I can just box it from that point. So now, I am going to close circle on negative seven, shade to the left, close circle on negative, oh, that's not negative one, close circle on negative one, shade to the right, and my interval notation is negative infinity to negative seven, blocked off, don't forget the word or, negative one blocked to infinity. Hopefully that was an easy review for you. If not, come see me.